This is going to be a dual showcase for the new Yayurozu as well as the new Bakugo. I am super excited to be showcasing these two characters both in Ultra Arena and in Climax Battle. Now I would showcase them in VE Tower or Club Festival, but Club Festival is not open yet. You'll get to see them, I'm sure, used in some Club Festival videos when Club Festival opens because I will be doing Club Festival videos. And then for VE Tower, they just haven't been consistently coming out with VE Tower or VE Tower challenges, so I feel like at this point, until they give us like confirmation of some new VE Tower stuff, I'm not really going to worry about showcasing characters in VE Tower because there's just no reason. Hopefully we get some other content besides VE Tower, uh, Ultra Arena, and Climax Battle eventually here coming up, but uh, yeah, for right now we're just going to showcase these characters in Ultra Arena and in Climax Battle. So in Ultra Arena, I have a couple of different teams I'm going to show you guys, so we're going to take on a couple of different people we'll go ahead and we'll take on this team right here zen looks good 505,000 battle power and the team we're going to be using let's go ahead and showcase the bakugo first so i'm actually going to use a team that i would say arguably doesn't have a healer now i know uraraka heals right but in the main slot i would consider this a team that doesn't really heal too much so the idea here is that we just have a crap ton of AoE and also a crap ton of status ailments so that hopefully at least one of our status elements lands, whether that is blocking buffs, or if that is stunning, or if that is burning. Uh, ideally, we stun them because first we do our burn with Endeavor, then we do our block buffs and our blind with Bakugo, and then we do our stun with Uraraka, and we can get past all of the uh, status element nullification because they are multi-hit abilities, right? So hopefully that's the goal here, and then we'll, we should be able to do ideally uh, a lot of damage and hopefully kill one of these characters by turn two with this team this team can be really really strong if you are going against the right matchup it works really really well against redestro and kirishima teams but there aren't a ton of those you do have to be careful though because even though i do have good speed memories and decent speed with these characters if you go against like a compress or a raka and the new yayurozu team they'll have more speed than you because all three of those characters give speed to the team and a lot of people are running that right now so let's go ahead and get into this first match like i said we'll do a couple of matches of pvp i'm super excited to actually do all these matches because i'm having a lot of fun right now in ultra arena because there actually have been quite a few different team uh makeups that people have been coming up with and so this is one of my very own right here and i'm excited to show you guys how it goes now this team i will say does not always guarantee the perfect that is for sure but it does uh, a lot of times get you pretty, I would say pretty far. Like it lets you punch above the belt. Obviously my team right here was like what, 430,000 BP and the enemy team was 505,000. As you can see, we have more speed. So let's see how this goes here. I'm using all my multi-target attacks first. Great damage from Endeavor. Let's see if we get a stun. Okay, we got two stuns. That's massive. So the reason the stun is really good, even though it only lasts for one turn, is because it throws off their plus ultra, meaning we get plus ultra advantage on turn three, which is amazing. And so even though they have status element nullification with Deku, or if they run Najure or whatever, uh, with this team, a lot of times you can get around the status element nullification. So this is like a, more of a status element team, and it's really interesting to be able to run something like this now with the new Bakugo. And that's one character dead, two characters dead, and what did I say, turn two, right? Turn two, that's kind of insane, right? To see two characters dead on turn two. It's a little bit nuts, it's a little bit, it's a little good. Now here's the dangerous part, right? We are on turn three, we do have our plus ultras, but All Might has piercing shot, he could one shot one of these characters, which he probably will do we'll probably lose a character and so this is the problem with this team you can't get the perfect but we do have yayurozu on the sub slot and so it's really nice to have yayurozu on that sub slot because she can give your other two characters last stand when she does come out which is really cool or if endeavor dies he also gives buffs to the team so like i said this isn't necessarily the team you want to run if you're trying to get perfects but if you're trying to punch above the belt uh this is a really good team for you all right so we'll see what happens here how much is he gonna do Yep, goodbye Bakugo. So like I said, Bakugo's dead. But we do have these plus ultras here coming through. And Deku's dead, and now they're down to two characters. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use Yayurozu's ability to just give us a last stand, hopefully, if she doesn't die. Hopefully not. 
right, Endeavor might die before that. Oh, he went after Araka. Okay. Take it. That's fine. Yeah, Araka strength type makes sense. Duh. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And we should be able to get pretty close to finishing it up right here if not finish it up. And stunned. Okay, good. So no plus ultra from All Might. All Might's dead. And now we just have to kill Araka. So all in all, we lost one character, right? That's not a big deal. Obviously, this isn't the team. Once again, I'll say it again, for perfects, but it is definitely a team that lets you punch above the belt because that was an insane battle power difference, right? So that is really, really good. And let's take a look at the damage that we got for each character in that match. So this was against Zen who has 505,000 battle power. Uh, we did 335,000 with Endeavor, 37,000 with Bakugo, and 136,000 with Uraraka. Now, like I said, uh, this is not necessarily a AOE damage team. So I don't think of it as an AOE damage team, even though it does do a lot of AOE damage. I think of it more as a status element team. And I like that idea a lot when it comes to Ultra Arena. This next matchup, we're gonna go ahead and let's see who we wanna take on here. I think, I think, let's just hit update. You know what, let's do a secret battle, why not? We'll do a secret battle. All right, so this is this is gonna be the team we use this time around. This time it's more to showcase Yayurozu rather than to showcase Bakugo. And so it's pretty similar to the team I had before in the sense that we have Endeavor, but we're not running Araraka anymore for speed. We're actually running Compress in place of Araraka because I feel like Compress brings more to the team with his defense and with the speed down. So we're having Endeavor give speed up, we have Yayurozu giving speed up, and we have Compress doing speed down. And then we have Adventure Weights on uh, uh, I almost, I was thinking of Endeavor as All Might for some reason right there. My brain had a brain fart. We have Adventure Weights on Endeavor for the extra crit rate power and skill impact and whatnot that it gives. And that's the same reason we had it over here on this team as well. All right, let's hop into the secret battle and see how it goes. We could very well lose. Uh, it is a secret battle. I don't know who it's going to put us up against. We'll see. All right, so we're against a Todoroki. Get to show him his inexperience. They might have more speed than us. I don't know, maybe, uh, yeah, they're gonna have more speed than us. Yep, they're definitely gonna have more speed because we have seventh, eighth, and ninth. So this could go very badly for us, I'll say. We'll see, we'll see how, oh no, we're actually faster. I thought, okay, never mind. We're good, we're good. I thought we were gonna have less speed, but we're good. All right, so this could go very well for us. We'll see. Uh, so Endeavor should get rid of any status element nullification they might have if they had dull summertime and then compress will hopefully bind. Uh, we did get a bind. Was it two binds? Two binds. Massive. So this team works really, really well because Compress is just a beast, right? That two-turn bind is insane, and it really helps put your team ahead. There's two dead. And this is a secret battle, mind you. We'll have to take a look at the BP of this team. I'm interested to see it in the end. All right, and so Yairozu is kind of who we're supposed to be focusing on here. I was talking a lot about Compress there, but Yairozu is really good for this team in particular and for helping Endeavor because Endeavor is what I would call a glass cannon. He hits ridiculously hard, but he doesn't have very good health or defense. So having Compress on the team for the extra defense is nice, but then having Yairozu on the team for the extra max HP is really, really nice. Yairozu also increases her attack damage relative to her own max HP. So that will also give her more attack damage and she increases max HP with every skill she uses, including her plus ultra right here, which she will increase the max HP by 30% for our characters. So just to show you guys the max HP up really quickly, let's scroll down here and see where we're at. Max HP up by 30% right there for one more turn. We have the last stance from Yairozu, which helps Endeavor to survive, which is really, really nice. And we should have another max HP up. Yep. 35% right there for two more turns. So that's a 65% max HP up that we have on Endeavor right now, which just gives him so much survivability and lets him actually be the glass cannon that you want him to be, which is insane. All right, so they are going to get turn advantage here because they're using action skills. Hopefully no one dies, obviously, because we have the last stand. So this should be fine, which is why this team works out so, so well, because uh, the support Yairozu yeah, gives with her last stance and her extra HP. Like, she is insane for this team. All right, and 
Kirishima is pretty low, I would say. We should be able to kill him before he gets his buffs up here, I believe. Actually, we might just kill everybody. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, yep. Everybody is dead. So there's that team. That team is absolutely insane, right? Uh, I'm a little bit scared. I I'm scared that I'm showing you guys this because I'm afraid other people are going to use this team against me. Like, I really genuinely believe this team is one of the best possible teams you could run right now. Like, it, it's good. It's so, so good. Like, it's insanely good. I can't, I can't express to you guys how good this team is, especially if you were able to get these characters. These characters are only level 100. Uh, so if you were able to get Endeavor to level 130, you were able to get Yayurozu to 130 or Compress to 130, uh, those, you're, you're just gonna run through everybody. Like, it's not even gonna be a challenge, but there you go, you can see. So the idea behind this team is like, use the supports to protect Endeavor, let Endeavor do his thing, and Endeavor will carry you carry you through pvp like it's actually just insane how good this team is right here so there are your ultra arena showcases for both yayu rozu and bakugo now let's head over to climax battle and instead of doing separate teams for them and climax battle we are going to be running one team on double s difficulty with both yayu rozu and bakugo now the reason let me jump back a step here i did two separate teams in ultra arena for both bakugo and yayu rozu is because when you put them both on a main slot i'm not going to lie to you guys i don't think they work very cohesively together but I feel like when you have Yayurozu in that sub slot, like on Bakugo's team, it worked well. Or when you have Bakugo in a sub slot on Yayurozu's team, it can work well. So I, I personally wouldn't recommend putting them together in Ultra Arena, but you never know. It could work out for you. But in Climax Battle, it is a totally, totally different story. These characters wreck house together when they are put together in Climax Battle. So I could run this entire Climax Battle on auto without ever like planning my taps, planning my moves or anything like that. That's how much support Yayurozu offers to the team. And then Bakugo blocking buffs also just offers like a ton of support to the team and is really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna do this and we're gonna do this. And then not to mention Ida also tanking for us is insane. All right, so we should get pretty close to done with the first phase here. I think we're gonna have, yeah, we'll have a little bit left to do here with this move, but it's fine. And Gentle Criminal's buffs are blocked for two turns and he's blinded, which is nice, right? Okay, we enter the next phase. I think this climax battle, I'm not gonna lie to you, is probably the easiest climax battle of all of them. Uh, all for one's not bad, but this is still probably easier than the all for one climax battle. Definitely easier than the best genus climax battle. 99,000 damage, easy. 64,000 from Yayurozu, that's really good damage with a crit. I would love to see how much damage she could do when you get her max HP all the way up, like when she's level 130, when you are able to get her advanced leveling done. Because right now she's at level 100, I don't have all of her advanced leveling done. I did get the extra copy of her, but I don't have her at level 110 yet, so there, I can still do a lot with her max HP. Uh, both Yayurozu and Bakugo are board 13 though, and so I feel like you're seeing a yeah, it's a fair showcase of them, but they could be both be so much stronger. And I do have at least one extra copy for both of them to eventually level them up. I just don't have the stars. That's the one, one of my complaints in this game as well. It's too hard to get stars. Like you just have to keep summoning on banners if you want stars. They need more ways to offer stars to characters or players because there's so many characters in the game at this point. It's not gonna hurt them to give us more uh, free stars if they wanted to. I really think that's something they should add into the game. A, a way besides the Ultra Arena shop to get more stars easily that is not summons because yeah, no one can afford to, well, I guess a few people can, but most people, can't afford to just keep summoning for the purpose of stars and stars alone. All right, we are down to the final phase and obviously he took us down to half health there, but it didn't matter because Yayurozu supported us and gave us enough health to get through it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and use all of our plus ultras and see how it goes. 86,000, beautiful. 99,000 guaranteed from Bakugo. Bakugo is just a beast. 63,000 from Yayurozu. Here comes his plus ultra, but we dodged, so it does not matter. 
And we'll go through this turn without skills, which is fine. And then we'll just let Bakugo finish this up here. 10,000 health. Goodbye, gentle criminal. Bakugo, Yairozu, make this very, very easy. You could probably do this. With this team right here, you could do this. Oh, Bakugo is 110, I guess. I could get him to 120. Or I could get him to 130, actually, because I have the extra copy. I was saying 100 before. Okay. But he's 110. Uh, you could definitely run this particular team, though. Anyways, back on track. You could run this team on auto without doing any of the taps and still get through it. Like, that's how good this team is for climax battle. So, yeah, gentle criminal climax battle made very easy by these new characters. And I am excited to see what these characters can do in club festival of course i will be doing some club festival videos as well anyways that is it for the showcase that is it for the video let me know what you guys thought of my ultra arena teams that i came up with let me know what you think of this climax battle team and thank you guys for watching peace